Welcome back. You're live with Express. So thank you so much for tuning in this morning. Um, it's already been an awesome start, so I think that set the tone for a brilliant show. But let's delve into the meat of a pretty meaty discussion, I think, yeah. with violence in schools, understandably being a major issue and talking point at the moment. And responding to your viewer requests, today's parenting topic is all about handling and helping youngsters with aggressive and violent behavior. And our certified parent coach, she is certified, Laura Markowitz, uh, joins us in studio to share some insights on the topic. Um, Laura, welcome to the show. Thank you so welcome, much. Welcome, Laura. This is great. I mean, we've seen, uh, you know, these kind of aggressive behaviors circulating on social media. There's been a lot going around, violence. actually, as well. Violence, violence. as well, which is, which is very, very sad. So I'm hoping that we can, you can help us understand it just a little bit. First and foremost, is aggressive kind of behavior in children, is it, is it normal? So I think it is an important thing not to over catastrophize or worry when your little mm. kids are biting, hitting, um, scratching. It can be quite a normal thing and not to pathologize it too quickly. But in, what is important is to be responding to it mm. and not letting it go. Of course, when aggressive behavior is going too far, when it is impacting on your functionality, when it is impeding your socializing, when people are not wanting to be around you, when the frequency of your aggressive behavior is increasing, when it's affecting your social relationships, then we need to be worrying. When it's actually, you fear to be around this person, um, you worry that they'll harm okay. themselves, you worry that they're gonna harm others, then we do need to worry. And then we are going into the realm of not normal and we need to be doing something about it. I would imagine this is very age specific. I mean, we talk about a lot of the headlines that are happening at the moment. This is violent behavior involving knives uh, in teenagers sure. or adolescents, which is, is scary enough as it is. But let's start at the very beginning where, where young children are exhibiting violent behavior. What could be some of those triggers that maybe are not necessarily situational, but part of just a normal growth path? Mm. Because I mean, if I have to liken it to my own child, I mean, yeah. the poor dogs run in fear now, and I don't know why he targets them specifically, but it doesn't seem to be out of malice, but something just comes over him. Yeah, yeah. So, so, you know, it can come from a myriad of factors, and I think it's really important to remember that there's no one factor that's going to make my child into an aggressive or violent um, from a child to a teenager. So it can be anything from frustration to anxiety, to worries and fears. Um, it can be genetic factors. There might be a history of aggressive behavior or violent behavior. There might be exposure to aggressive or violent behavior in the home. It's what we're role modeling. It's what they're seeing. The media, gaming, um, all those kinds of things can be impacting on how it's affecting our children. So it's really important to remember there isn't kind of one factor, there can be socioeconomic factors, poverty, deprivation, um, our family set up, all of these things, not necessarily alone, mm. but these are some of the things that can be risk factors that can make our children become into really struggling, aggressive, um, mm. and potentially violent. Children. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Laura, thank you very much. We are going to be sitting down with Laura again in just a little bit because we also want to know how do you go about as a parent dealing Curbing with the aggression yeah, yeah. and if you, if you find a child being aggressive, what is the right way to go about that? We'll chat to Laura in just a bit. It's my feel good Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Graham. This is Ewan, and you are tuned into Express. So thank you so much for joining us for what has been the start of a really important conversation that we're going to continue right now. Earlier this morning, um, we had our certified parenting coach, Laura Markovitz, join us on the couch to say, share some insights and really important ones at that on how parents can help to curb aggressive and violent behavior in their children in light of what we've been seeing going on in so many of our schools. So we're going to continue that mm -hmm. right now. Such an important discussion. Thanks, Laura, for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Laura. Now, we spoke about the fact that, you know, these kind of aggressive behavior, aggressive behavior from children, you know, it, it can start off mostly because of what they see in a home environment. And I think that's where it can all start. But I think furthermore, if you realize that uh, your child might be slightly aggressive or that you are con confronted with a child that is being aggressive how do yeah. you deal with it how do you go about that without in a being professional <laughs> grown up matter without being well, aggressive i think that's that's key you know as you're saying one of the factors is what they're being exposed to mm. but it also can be things that they're not yeah. being exposed to that they have genetic factors that they so we don't we don't know so then it's well what do we do as parents that can help 
curb and prevent this aggressive behavior. And I think one of the most important things is what you've said is don't respond to it with, with aggression. more aggression um, because that's not going to be helpful. So what we really need to be doing is from an early age, teaching our children to identify their emotions, know what they're feeling, to be able to separate out their feelings from their behavior mm, so that they involved, know yeah. they're allowed to feel whatever they're feeling, but how they behave is important. It's also really important for us as parents, no matter how hard it is to be um, on the receiving end of the aggressive or violent behavior, to know that it comes from somewhere. There is a root cause, there mm. is a trigger, there's something going on for our kids. They are not setting out to be these aggressive, difficult children. And that can be really hard for us as parents because we, mm. sure, what are they doing? Why are they doing this to us? So it's a really um, hard thing for us to see. So we've got to know it's coming from somewhere. Kids don't behave badly because they really want to be getting into trouble and because they want to be <laughs> causing trouble. But we need to see when Still it's going over it, yeah. the edge, exactly. It doesn't excuse it. It doesn't mean, oh, well, you know, they're having a hard mm. time, shame. <laughs> Let's just excuse it. We have to be dealing with it. And we do need to be dealing with it as early as possible. So when we're seeing that it's impeding their functionality, their social relationships, all that sort of things, uh, all those sorts of things, we need to step in. We need to get them some help. We need to help them identify what the root problems are, what their triggers are, and then equip them with what they can be doing instead of responding mm. um, in that aggressive way. Because it's all very well for me to say, stop it, don't do that. Yeah. But what can I do? Well, I mean, just picture yourself, and this is I'm stealing from, from Bailey here, another mate of ours who often presents on the show. It's like, I mean, if you're in full flight, if you're furious and someone comes to you and says, calm down, just calm down. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. That's like the worst thing, ever, thing but, you can do. Uh, it but, can... But, yeah. This is the joy of children. They hold a mirror up to you. And I think very often it's when, when dealing with your child's issues, you have to confront your own issues, which becomes a, a, a process in and of yeah. itself. But let's go back to the old nature versus nurture. When do we know that this, okay, is beyond something that could be within our mm. family dynamic, yeah. our, our ecosystem, as it were, and something that is actually probably a personality something. trait or something that we might have to go and then get help from a, a yeah. therapist mm. or, or so, take it that step So through. life would be really nice if it was neat and tidy and we <laughs> could pinpoint, right, it's this or it's that. <clears throat> The, the reality is the whole nature nurture thing, you know, is it them? Is it us? Mm. Is it Has how it ever I'm, been proven? You know, what's <laughs> it? It's generally a combination of the two. So I always say, you know, you could be the most zen, switched on together parent, and your child still presents mm. with difficult behavior. Um, so the important thing is not necessarily to get caught up in the us or them thing, rather to be thinking, what can I be doing Solutions. as a parent? Solutions to support them with whatever is being presented and then mm. manage it in the best way possible and get them the help that they need as early as possible so they learn skills, they learn the triggers and they learn how to deal with it so that it doesn't become problematic. Yeah. In a perfect yeah. world. In a perfect world. <laughs> In a perfect world. Laura, thank you very, very much. I think it's, there, there, there's so much to discuss around this topic. Yeah. And I mean, you need to act accordingly um, as a grown up, whether that is, you know, verbal aggression or physical aggression. Um, it is this very, very serious topic because taking that into adulthood for any child is definitely not what you want. Exactly. Any, any final tips or advice or words of advice that you can offer? Well, I think that's it is knowing that, you know, it, no matter what their past is, no matter what they've been exposed to, all that sort of th all those things things taking into account knowing it comes from somewhere mm. but doing something about it I mean if I can mm. implore parents to say well okay we're sitting with this we've got to get help we've got to help equip our children whether it's breathing techniques mm. whether it's meditation whether it's learning to count to ten and whether outlets, whatever yeah. it is mm. that is going to give them the help that they need so that they're not always being put in the position that they're going to fail, mm. that they are going to lose their core. We've got to give them something that they can hold on to to manage the difficult feelings that they've got. And I, I don't think this is just aggression. Uh, if you've got an overactive child, if you've got a child that feels yeah. too deeply, all of these things, mm. there is a way that you can offset that. <clears throat> help you be present in your own body, in your own mind, in your own life, and I think that will help your child be present in theirs. But mm. um, you've got to get on it and get on it as early as possible. Laura, awesome. awesome. Thank, Thank you, Laura. Thank you.